Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you're looking for an easy way to make fish broth or stock, get out your crock pot and plug it in. Then you can take any bits and leftover pieces of fish you have. I save mine up over time. I keep them in the freezer in a Ziploc bag and if I have any extra little pieces or bony skeletons, things that are leftover parts of your fish, save them up until you have perhaps a half a bag. Then you want to rough chop some carrots, celery, onions, place them into the bottom of your crock pot, top it with your leftover fish, then fill your crock pot with water during the summer because it can be stinky when you make it in the house and so I like to place the crock pot outside on the deck and the aromas can go out into the fresh air and not into my home. But because I live in Alaska, I do it on an upstairs deck to make sure that I don't attract any animals. Set it on low for four to six hours. Then after four to six, even eight hours, have fun, whatever the day may bring, while your fish stock or broth is brewing away, you can see how yummy it looks. So the first thing you're gonna do, scoop out any solids and set them aside. This fish actually had some pretty good pieces of salmon, so if you wanted to, you could separate the meat from the bones and keep that for fish soup. But if you're just making broth, you would discard any of the solids. Generally, when you're making stock or broth, you discard all of the solids, and so you're going to strain out all of the solids from your broth. So you want to pour it through a strainer into another container. You can skim off any solids or strain it again through a wire mesh. And you're left with beautiful fish broth or stock. Now you can ladle it into storage containers and in the refrigerator it can last for up to five days and in the freezer it can last for months. I love these ball freezer containers. They come in two different sizes so you can store foods in the amounts that suit the recipes that you generally make. How can you use your broth or stock? You can use it to make soup, chowder, gumbo. You can use it to steam clams, add it to rice or risotto. And there's a lot of different ways that you can use your beautiful fish stock in the recipes and meal planning that you have. Look at all the delicious fish stock or broth that I made from things that many people would throw away. And now I have portions of fish broth or stock just in the sizes that I need. These ball freezer jars work great. They come in two sizes. You can pull one out of the freezer. They're designed for the contents to slide right out and they're ready to go into your recipes. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else who might like it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.